this video is about this component, which is called a xenodiode. And I've built this circuit to help me investigate it. Here is my xenodiode symbol. And as you can see, it's a regular diode with a little tag on the edge. And I've got a power supply, not in the camera, where I've got the positive up here. So current's going to go this way. This is forward biased. The name of this diode is a BZX85C5B6, and the Z indicates that it's a xenodiode. Let's see what it does when we apply a voltage. I've pressed play on my data logger. I'm increasing the voltage. As you would expect, not a lot is happening. And then the current increases. This is acting like a regular diode. If I draw the graph that we've just got on the screen there, it goes along here, it goes up like that. This voltage is around about 0.7. This is the voltage axis. This is the current axis. And I was taking around about 400 milliamps. So in forward bias, the Zener diode acts exactly like a regular silicon diode. What I've done now is I've reversed my Zener diode. I've turned it round like that. And the symbol on my diagram is now the other direction. So this diode is now in reverse bias. I'm going to increase the voltage again and we'll see what happens. And we would expect, if it was a regular diode, for nothing to happen. So let's have a look. So I'm increasing my voltage. And I've already got to 1.5 volts. And there's no current flowing. I keep going to 2 volts. 3 volts, 4 volts, and when I get to 5 volts, I'm going to be quite careful here, we see what happens is that the Zener diode starts to conduct. Now that's quite unusual, because that means this diode is conducting backwards. If I were to draw my graph like I did before, I would get almost the same shape as I had last time. This is again the voltage axis, but this time the voltage that it's conducting at is much higher. In fact, it's around about 5.6 volts. And my current is a very similar value. Now, I don't know if you can see that in the name of the Zener diode, it has 5V6, which means 5.6 volts. So a Zener diode is a diode that conducts in reverse bias at a very specific voltage, which is very useful. Finally, we'll try and put all our information together onto one graph. So my Zener diode is now returned to its original orientation. I'm going to be looking at the forward bias part of the graph first. So I'll turn on my power supply, and here we go. You can see the current's moving along, the voltage is moving along the axis, and then current starts to flow when the forward bias voltage gets to be about 0.7 volts. I'm turning the power supply back down again. Now, rather than turning the diode round, what I'm going to do is swap the connections on the power supply, which the data logger will interpret as being a negative voltage. So you see it's rescaled now. I'm going to increase the negative voltage. So I'm going back along the voltage axis. So I'm up to minus one, minus one and a half. And as you can see, no current's flowing. And if I keep going, the graph will keep rescaling until I get to the point where it's going to start conducting in reverse bias. And there it goes. So if we put that onto our own graph, what we have is the forward bias section. We have the graph of a silicon diode, which looks something like that. And this here is labeled as 0.7 volts. I'm not under any obligation to use the same voltage scale in that direction as I do in that direction. So I'm not going to, and textbooks often don't either. So I'm going to go along the axis here, and then at the Zener voltage, I get a nice sharp downward um, curve. This indicates that current starts flowing in reverse bias at, in this case, 5.6 volts, and I'm going to label this as negative, as on my data logger. So that's the full graph for the Zener diode.